1st of July, NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. And some actual bona fide experts think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock or a natural phenomenon at all. Scientists named it Three Eye Atlas, but the name could not capture the unease it brought. Maybe we were never alone. Maybe we were being watched. What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond? For years, the night sky had been a place of order, a map that promised predictability, where comets, asteroids, and drifting rocks could be explained. But then came the silhouette, cold, angular, and deliberate. It cut across the heavens with precision no natural body should possess. It didn't tumble, it didn't wander, it moved with purpose. The thing about it is that uh, it's moving uh, along a trajectory that is very special. And in its silence, the weight of something older, greater, and unknown pressed down on us all. The first glimpse. The first sign came quietly almost unnoticed. NASA's Atlas tracking system marked it as a fast-moving dot, nothing unusual at first glance. Just another speck among thousands that pass through the deep sky each night. But within hours, something didn't fit. Its speed was higher than anything local, a velocity that could not be explained by normal gravitational pulls. It was moving at more than 150,000 miles per hour, faster than most comets ever recorded. Astronomers checked its path again and again. The calculations showed it wasn't bound to our solar system. It had entered on a trajectory that no planet, no sun, no cluster could have shaped. It came from beyond, carrying momentum from another star. Only two such visitors had ever been confirmed before, and both behaved like natural objects. This one didn't. Even stranger was its course. It didn't dive in from the edges of the system. It slipped between planetary orbits, aligning with precision. And when plotted, its closest approach to the sun avoided Earth completely, as though by design. James Webb turns its eye. When the path was confirmed, pressure grew to point the James Webb Space Telescope toward the object. From its position far beyond the moon, Webb had the clarity and sensitivity no ground telescope could match. The first images were enough to unsettle even seasoned scientists. What appeared wasn't a dim fragment of rock or ice. It reflected light far too brightly for its small size, shining like a polished surface rather than a natural one. If it had been made of ice, it would have shown trails of vapor. If it had been stone, it would have been darker and irregular. Instead, it gleamed as though metal. Spectral readings only deepened the mystery. No gas emissions, no tail, no dust clouds. Instead, it absorbed sunlight on one side while keeping another side strangely cool, as though regulating its own temperature. Even its spin was unlike anything seen before. Asteroids tumble unevenly. Comets roll and wobble. But this object rotated with balance, smooth and steady, always keeping a fixed orientation toward the sun. It was motion that suggested order, as if it had been engineered for stability, not born from chaos. Motions that break the rules. In space, almost everything obeys gravity. Orbits curve, speeds shift, and paths are predictable. But the three-eye atlas seemed to ignore those rules. Observers noticed that its course changed slightly over time, not drifting randomly, but adjusting, almost like steering. There were no visible engines, no trails of gas or particles that could explain it. Yet, with subtle precision, it moved. This brought back memories of another mystery, Oumuamua. That strange traveler had sparked years of debate. Some believed it might have been artificial. Others dismissed it as a shard of rock. But the three-eye atlas went further. Its corrections were sharper, its path more exact. This wasn't passive drift. It looked deliberate. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who had argued before that Oumuamua might have been a probe, quickly raised his voice again. 
He urged his peers to study the small accelerations, and the data confirmed it. The object was reacting to its environment. When radiation from the sun grew intense, it shifted to reduce exposure. When magnetic fields pressed against it, it slowed. These weren't the habits of a comet. They were the movements of something awareness, something navigating, not just traveling. The silence that speaks. At first, scientists thought the object was silent. No signal, no flare, nothing to suggest communication. But when researchers at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center examined Webb's deepest scans, they found something hidden in the noise. Very faint electromagnetic pulses lingered around the object, barely above background radiation. At first, they seemed random, but once filtered, a pattern came into focus. The pulses were not natural. They repeated with purpose, using prime numbers and ratios found in mathematics, not in the random scatter of the cosmos. It wasn't loud, it wasn't direct. The object wasn't broadcasting toward Earth. It was radiating outward, steady and constant, as if maintaining a link with somewhere else. The material analysis raised even more questions. Its surface was not like stone or ice. It appeared layered, almost engineered, with properties close to theoretical metamaterials that can bend or hide signals. Parts of the shell seem to shift with changes in the surrounding radiation, adapting in real time. This wasn't just silence. It was a different kind of conversation. A quiet presence, hiding in plain sight, whispering to something unseen in the dark. A hybrid possibility. As models of the object grew more detailed, its shape became clearer. It was not round like an asteroid. It was not jagged like a comet. It carried symmetry, with edges that shifted in careful alignment. From some angles, it even looked like panels folding, adjusting, almost like wings responding to invisible winds. Its motion remained steady. The rotation never wavered, locked to an invisible axis, as if controlled by something within. Asteroids spin until forces slow them. This one seemed balanced by design, like a spacecraft using stabilizers. When streams of solar wind pressed against it, parts of the surface tilted, reshaping smoothly, as though the entire shell could flex in unison. There were no seams, no joints, no moving gears. It was as if the material itself was alive, reacting without delay. Some scientists began to wonder if it was more than a machine. Perhaps it was something in between. An organism that had been built, not born. A union of biology and engineering, designed not only to travel through the void, but to adapt and survive it. A creation meant to endure where ordinary machines would fail. The curtain falls. Then, almost as quickly as the story began, the flow of information stopped. Observation logs that had once been open to researchers were suddenly restricted. Public access to Webb's data vanished overnight. Live streams from ground-based observatories that had been tracking the object went dark. What had been excitement turned into silence. Agencies released vague updates, speaking only of the need for further review. No answers, no details. Scientists who had spoken freely in interviews withdrew, their voices absent from the news. Some speculated they had been warned to stay quiet. Others believed the truth was simply too disruptive to release. Freedom of information requests were denied without explanation. Journalists searching for leads ran into locked doors, and yet whispers escaped. A leaked memo hinted that the data contained anomalies too great to dismiss, and that national security agencies had stepped in. To the public, it looked like caution. To those watching closely, it felt like fear. Not fear of the unknown sky, but fear of what the object represented. This was not a harmless traveler. It was something operational, and the people in charge wanted it contained. The Hidden Message 
Even with official silence, fragments of data had already slipped into the hands of independent researchers. Astrophysicists and AI analysts began combing through what remained of Webb's final thermal scans. At first, the numbers looked ordinary, fluctuations of heat across the surface of the object. But when examined more closely, the rhythm of those fluctuations told a different story. The heat did not rise and fall randomly. It pulsed in intervals, spaced with prime numbers, repeating again and again. Algorithms revealed patterns shaped like mathematical sequences, too precise to be chance. It was not a broadcast sent outward into the void. It was coded into the object's very skin, like a heartbeat carrying meaning. The realization was unsettling. The design suggested the message was not meant for everyone. It was meant for observers who had reached a certain level of technology, who could finally decode it, which meant the object had expected us to notice and expected us to understand, at least enough to know it was intentional. This was not just movement through space. It was communication through silence. A message waiting for us, hidden in plain sight, delivered without a single word. The departure. For months, the object kept its steady course, almost as if it had settled into routine. Then, suddenly, it changed. The shift was exact, smooth. Nothing like the random push of gravity or the stumble of debris. It curved away, leaving the inner system behind. Its new path puzzled astronomers. It wasn't heading back toward the stars it came from. It wasn't pulled by any planet or sun. Instead, it moved toward an empty stretch of space, a region with no known bodies. To some, it seemed meaningless. To others, it looked deliberate, like a meeting point unseen. Slowly, its glow weakened. Instruments caught less with each day until it was only a fading speck. And then it was gone, leaving behind silence, as though its true purpose lay ahead, far beyond our reach. The Three-Eye Atlas did not flash signals or draw near to Earth. It came in silence, moved with intent, and left the same way. Yet its passing left a mark deeper than any comet's trail. Because now we know the quiet sky is not empty. We were seen, measured, maybe even judged. The James Webb Telescope was built to look back in time, but instead, it caught something alive in the present. And that changes everything. The question is no longer if we are alone. The question is, who is out there, watching?